Well, good morning, children, and welcome to Tabernacle Cardiff Sunday School. Now, let's begin our time together with a word of prayer. So let's make sure that we're sat nice and still. Let's have our hands together and our eyes closed. Our gracious God and our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Now, we thank you, Lord, that it is your day. And Lord, uh, now at the beginning of your day, we pray that you would help us as we come to Sunday School. Lord, we pray for this time together. Lord, we would ask that you will come down and uh, pour out your Holy Spirit, Lord, amongst us, Lord, and help us as we worship you. Uh, we ask all these things now in our Saviour's precious name, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, let's uh, start Sunday School as we usually do, uh, by singing our Sunday School prayer, uh, which is Father in this place of worship. Well, let's remind ourselves now, shall we, what we looked at in Sunday School uh, last week. Uh, now, for those of you that were with us, uh, you'll remember that we continued uh, in our series, uh, The I Am Sayings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, now, can anybody remember uh, the saying that we looked at last week? OK, I'll give you a, a couple of clues. Um, uh, it involved sheep. And uh, there might be a clue somewhere around here. OK, that's right. It is uh, the Lord uh, is my shepherd or the Lord. Uh, Jesus Christ said, I am the good shepherd. And we learnt how the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, he is the shepherd of the sheep and the sheep are you and me. Uh, and we are lost. Um, but we can find comfort and joy in the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is our prayer as Sunday school teachers, uh, that you will come to know the Lord Jesus Christ uh, as your shepherd. Uh, so let's uh, look at the memory verse, um, which we learnt last week. Uh, and it was this one, uh, which is what we've just been talking about. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And that was in John chapter 10 and verse 11. OK, so uh, let's see if we can say that together uh, without the words on the screen. So let's take those away. Say it with me, I'll say it slowly. Jesus said... I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. John chapter 10 verse 11. Well, let's just uh, bring that back up onto the screen now uh, and see that that's uh, OK. And there you can see our Instagram uh, post in front of us. And um, we've got the, uh, the sheep, haven't we? Uh, that's you and I um, and uh, our verse there, which says, uh, Jesus said, uh, I am the good shepherd. Uh, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And that is John chapter 10 and verse 11. Well, we're going to uh, sing together now uh, and we're going to sing uh, our first Christmas carol. Uh, we're now in the uh, month of December and uh, we're going to sing uh, a Christmas carol because usually when we're in the hall, uh, what we do is we start to learn some Christmas carols uh, ready for uh, carol services 
uh, in the church and with Sunday school. Um, so we're going to uh, open with one uh, we usually sing every year, uh, and it's uh, this one. Uh, away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus laid down uh, his sweet head. Well, it's now time to read God's Word. Uh, so if you have your Bibles with you, uh, can you turn with me, please, uh, to the book of John? That's the uh, fourth book in the New Testament. Uh, and we're going to read um, chapter 11. And we're going to look from verses 19 through to 27. OK, so it's up on the screen. Uh, John chapter 11, verses 19 to 27. Uh, so let us hear the word of God. And many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus saith unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. Now may God bless to us that portion of his word. Well, let's now come to our Heavenly Father in prayer. So let's make sure that we're sat nice and still, that we've got our hands together and our eyes closed. Our gracious God and our loving Heavenly Father, 
Uh, We thank thee that once again we can come to thee uh, in prayer. Uh, We thank you, Lord, that uh, thou art God, that thou art our creator and our maker, and that uh, you do know all things uh, concerning us. Uh, Lord, we thank thee uh, for your word uh, that we have just read, and for those great words, uh, I am the resurrection and the life. And Lord, we do ask and pray now for our lesson. Lord, we pray that you might help us to understand uh, what these words mean. And Lord, we pray that you might give us uh, listening ears, Lord. Uh, Help us to have concentrating minds and uh, understanding hearts, we pray. Lord, we ask your blessing upon us wherever we are and draw near to us now, Lord. For we ask all these things in our Saviour's name, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, before we uh, come to today's lesson, we're going to sing again. Uh, And we're going to sing our second carol. Um, It's uh, one we've learnt over the last few years in Sunday school. Uh, One that's become a bit of a favourite of some of the Sunday school uh, children. Uh, And it's this one. Uh, Glory to God, the angel said, Good tidings, lo, I bring. In David's city is a babe, your Lord and Saviour, King. today by showing you a picture to give you a clue about our lesson today. Can you see what's the difference between these two? It's quite easy to see isn't it? One is living and one is dead and that's our theme today. We're thinking about life and death, serious things, important things even for you as children to think about while you're still young. Well, today's lesson reminds us that sad things happen in our world, don't they? And to everyone. And when we're very sad, we often have a cry and even grown-ups do. And today in our Bible lesson, we shall learn that the Lord Jesus himself wept, he cried, when his good friend Lazarus died. So he understands the hurt we feel when we are sad, and especially when someone dies, and he can help us and comfort us. Sadness isn't where our lesson ends today, because we have a glorious 
happy ending because the Lord Jesus Christ raised Lazarus back to life again. Please don't think this is a, a fairy tale or a legend or something made up like you would see and watch on children's TV. No, no. This is a true account of what really happened when the Lord Jesus lived on earth. And it's recorded in the Bible for us to learn from and to believe. It's a true account. And we know the Bible is God's word. And it's history about people who really lived. Well, we've been learning about the I am sayings, haven't we? of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we've had, I am the Good Shepherd, I am the Bread of Life, the Light of the World, the Living Water. And I wonder, have you realized that each time the Lord Jesus says, I am, he's also saying to us, I am God. I am that I am. And He's showing us more of what he's like, his character, with each of these I am sayings. And today is one of the greatest of the I am sayings. The Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the resurrection and the life. What a statement he made. Resurrection means coming alive again being raised to new life. And that's what Jesus is promising here, new life in him. What a kind, loving, caring Heavenly Father we have, who's told us all we need to know about life and about death in the Bible, so we can be certain of these things. Here's an important question. I wonder, do you know the answer? Where did death come from? Where did death come from? Do you remember that when God made Adam the first man on earth, there was no death. God breathed life into him, the breath of life, and Adam became a living soul. He wasn't meant to die. God gave him life and warned him not to disobey God's instructions. If he did, then he would die. And you remember what happened. Adam and Eve chose to disobey God. They didn't do what God had said. And so death came into our world. So where did death come from? Death comes from sin and disobedience to God. And Adam's soul died when he sinned. No more friendship with God. And his body started getting older from that day. And one day in time he would die physically too. So everything in our world has been spoiled by sin. And so are we. We are spoiled by sin too. Our world is beautiful in many ways, but it's because of sin that we have wars and suffering and sadness. Oh, so many sad things. Have you ever thought about this? That no one has ever had to teach you how to be naughty, how to be badly behaved. You know it already. It comes naturally to you. Your mum and dad have never had to sit you down and say, now this is how to get angry on the inside and have a temper tantrum. Or this is how to sulk when you want your own way. Or this is how to answer back and be rude. Or to quarrel with your brother and sister. No, no. Even the youngest child knows how to do these things. We are naughty, we do bad things because we are sinners. 
Do you remember our Ten Commandments series we did last year? It's one of my favourite series and we all enjoyed it, didn't we? Learning about God's rules for life and then we had our prize giving and many of you earned your Ten Commandments plaque for memorising all of those commandments. I hope you still remember them and look at them often. Well, they remind us, don't they, that we've broken all God's good rules for life and it will keep us out of heaven. Our sins will keep us out of heaven and far away from God's love and kindness. And God will judge us according to these rules. So whatever can we do with our sins? Who can take our sins away? Have you ever felt and thought like that? I hope you know that there's only one person who can take away our sins and make us ready for heaven, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you remember that hymn? We sing it sometimes in Sunday school. He died that we might be forgiven. He died to make us good, that we might go at last to heaven, saved by his precious blood. There was no other good enough to take away our sin. He only could unlock the gate of heaven and let us in. Ah, it was the price of sin. He only, there was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. What a price. He only could unlock the gate of heaven and let us in. The Lord Jesus Christ took our punishment of our sins. So we needn't be shut out of heaven. How wonderful that is. Put your trust in him, boys and girls. Put your trust in him. He died, he rose again, he defeated death. And he's proved he's the true and living way to God. Well, the account of Lazarus, Jesus' friend, uh, shows us this very clearly. Let's think about Lazarus. He was very ill, wasn't he? And yet the Lord Jesus didn't hurry to visit him or make him better. And Mary and Martha were the sisters of Lazarus and they were hoping Jesus would come quickly, but he didn't. And then Lazarus died. And later on, Jesus did arrive and was moved to tears uh, when he saw Mary and Martha and a great crowd of people who were mourning and comforting them. Everyone was sobbing and crying. Imagine the sadness there. And the Lord Jesus was moved to tears as he saw the sadness of people. And yet, Mary and Martha and this crowd of people were going to see an amazing miracle because this is what the Lord Jesus had planned. This is why he had delayed and put off coming. The Lord Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Well, it's one thing to say it, isn't it? But the Lord Jesus also proved it was true because he brought Lazarus back to life after four days of being dead. Do you know this account? Do you remember what happened? How they all go to the cave where Lazarus was buried and the Lord Jesus tells them, the people, to take the stone away from the entrance, a large stone that covered the entrance. 
And then the Lord Jesus prays to God in heaven. And finally, he cries out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, come out. And the Bible tells us, and he that was dead came forth. He that was dead came forth. Lazarus came out of the grave, alive, well, complete. Amazing. Imagine being there. Imagine seeing this, seeing a dead man walking out of the cave alive. Imagine being a witness to that. Many people were there. And the Bible tells us many believed in the Lord Jesus Christ that day. They, they must have thought and talked about that day the rest of their lives. Truly amazing. Our world has never seen anyone who can raise dead people back to life. Only the Lord Jesus Christ. And this miracle is a, a wonderful picture to us of what the Lord Jesus can do for all those who believe and trust in him. He will raise us up if he is our Lord and Saviour. One day we shall live again. We shall shut our eyes in this life and then we shall open them to the joy and happiness of heaven if he is our saviour. Well, just think how wonderful it was that Lazarus could actually hear Christ's voice calling him even though he was dead. And it's just as wonderful, boys and girls, that we can hear the voice of the Lord Jesus calling us from his words in the Bible today, calling us to come to him. He tells us of his love and forgiveness if we will repent and trust him and come to him. Are you listening? Have you come to him? Is he your saviour? Well, when we really hear the Saviour's voice, we'll, we'll have to follow him and obey him because we'll want to with all our hearts. And we are praying that for you as well. And that was today's lesson at Tabernacle Cardiff Sunday School. Uh, it's now time to look at this week's memory verse, uh, which will come up on the screen. Uh, and it's uh, this one. It was in our reading earlier. Jesus said, uh, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And that's in John chapter 11 and verse 25. Uh, so I'll say it again a, a bit slower. So uh, say it with me. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. John chapter 11, verse 25. Well, let's uh, take some time now to look at uh, the take home sheets uh, for this week. Um, we'll uh, see that they're in the two usual places. You can download them in the two usual means, uh, either by clicking on the link uh, with this video in the description box uh, or by going to the home page. Uh, of the church website, which is tabernaclecardiff.org. Uh, and as usually mentioned, um, we're more than, uh, uh, you're more than welcome to uh, send your take-home sheets to us at tabernaclecardiffsundayschool at gmail.com. Uh, we just ask that you can get those to us by the following Wednesday uh, for the uh, take-home gallery uh, the following week. 
Okay, so uh, this week it is uh, lesson 42, so you can see that up on the screen. Um, so uh, let's have a look now at the uh, infant take home sheet. Uh, you can see um, there's a, a, an image there, isn't there, of the, of the grave and the, the large stone uh, rolled away. Uh, and uh, our memory verse there I am the resurrection and the life. Uh, so that's the um, infants. And then uh, also for the juniors, uh, you've got um, our memory verse there in full, uh, the same image, and some questions there as well uh, for you uh, to do. So uh, those are our um, take-home sheets, um, and uh, they are now available to download in the usual ways. Uh, well, you can see uh, up on the screen now, I've got uh, a new message, haven't I? It says Christmas verse challenge. Um, and what I thought I would do um, is that uh, we've got uh, Christmas coming up. And uh, in the same way that we did with the But God uh, challenge, um, I've, uh, we've, we've produced a verse, a Christmas verse. I'll give that one to you uh, shortly. Um, and we're going to put it up so that you can colour it in. And um, for the older ones, you can design um, your own uh, drawings behind it. Um, and then we'll do a gallery then in the new year of all your entries. Um, so it's Luke chapter 2. Uh, you can see now coming up uh, on the screen. Uh, this is uh, our verse. And it's uh, verse 11. Um, and it reads uh, like this. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a saviour which is Christ the Lord. And that's Luke chapter 2 and verse 11. Uh, okay, so in the same way uh, that you do the take-home sheets, um, there will be a downloadable um, uh, verse outline uh, for the younger ones to colour. Um, and the older ones, they're welcome to use that or create their own uh, as they did. But I'll put some more instructions uh, on the website uh, so that you can... Uh, read uh, them there. Uh, so uh, I'd be looking to get this uh, in, not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, um, so that we can then do a gallery then uh, later on. Okay, so that's uh, your Christmas uh, verse challenge for this year. So I look forward to seeing um, those entries. Well, now it's time to have a look at your take-home sheets from last week. Well, it's uh, lovely to have seen uh, your take-home sheets. Uh, and after my request uh, last week, I was very impressed um, with the colourings of the shepherd and the sheep. Uh, it's one of my favourite drawings uh, so far, so I was really impressed uh, with the efforts that you, you made uh, last week on those pictures. So it's lovely to see those. So thank you and uh, well done. Well, we're now going to sing our closing carol. Um, and it's a bit of a, a Christmas anthem. 
Um, it's hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled uh, and the young ones I'm sure will sing uh, the chorus um, as well as they can hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king Well, it's uh, lovely to sing uh, some carols uh, with you uh, at the start of December. Uh, and I just wanted just to uh, let you know um, our plans for Sunday school uh, for uh, the next couple of weeks. Uh, so we'll have our last uh, normal Sunday school uh, next week. That'll be lesson 43. And then the following week, which will be the 20th, uh, we will have our Sunday school carol service uh, at the same time through YouTube. And then uh, we're going to do something slightly different this year um, on um, Christmas Day. Um, so there won't be any Sunday school on the 27th, but we'll bring it forward to Christmas Day. We're going to have a Sunday school uh, Christmas Day uh, carol service. Uh, so that'll be lovely um, to uh, have that uh, on that day as well. So we trust uh, that you'll be able to join us for these um, Christmas services coming up. Uh, we'll then return uh, for Lesson 44. Uh, in January, uh, on January the 3rd, I believe if uh, memory is, is correct. 
Um, and then we will uh, resume our series on the I am sayings. Um, so I will put some details um, in the description box uh, and also on the website um, about our schedule, but that was just to uh, let you all know what's going to be happening. Well, it's been lovely uh, to have you with us uh, here today at Tabernacle Cardiff Sunday School. Uh, and I trust it's been a blessing to you too uh, to be with us here at Sunday School. Well, let's uh, draw our, uh, let's bring our time together to a close. Um, so let's make sure that we're sat nice and still, have our hands together and let us pray. Our gracious God and our loving Heavenly Father, uh, we thank you uh, that once again we can come to thee in prayer. Uh, we thank you, Lord, that uh, it is your day and that, Lord, uh, you have uh, been with us here today in Sunday School. Uh, we thank you for what we have learnt. We thank you that you are uh, the resurrection and the life. Uh, we thank you, Lord, uh, that you are the only one that can give true life and we pray um, for uh, all the children lord we pray that you might uh, make your face known to them show them the need of a savior lord and we trust and pray lord that uh, they might know uh, you as uh, their good shepherd lord and that they might uh, know you as their personal savior our lord be with us uh, wherever we are uh, draw near to us we pray keep us safe through this week lord and bring us back safely uh, to sunday school uh, next week, God willing. Uh, for we ask all these things in our Saviour's name, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>